um, non-bodyguard. The first one is double frag projector, flamer, and shield generator. The other one is crisis, or cyclic, fusion, plasma, and shield generator. And each of those has four shield drones. I have a three-man unit of stealth suits with homing beacon. And then uh, my other commander is a cold star commander, which what happened to my cold star? Hmm. I will load it back in in a minute. What happened to my cold star? For sure. Oh, you deleted it for the farce. Oh, yeah, you had it here like a second ago. Whatever. It's the same thing as this. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, Cold Star. Um, he's got. Find him. Fusion blaster, high output burst cannon, plasma rifle, and also shield generator. And he has the precision of the hunter, so it's reroll ones to hit and wound. Um, and he can give a, a crisis unit an auto advance of six of eight inches in my command phase. Then I got Commander Farsight, who has the Exemplar of Montcaw, so that's the uh, pick a core unit. Uh, and if I target a unit within 9 or 12 inches if I have Montcaw, then I get to reroll all wounds. Um, what else? Two Devilfish, both with SMS, and then two Breacher Squads. And I think that's it. So both the Cold Star and the Enforcer have two marker drones each. Of course, I doesn't have anything. Uh, any questions? Um, no. No, this was a pretty solid list. How okay. many CP do you start with? I have eight. Yes, Java underscore Jet. I do hope that Eldar win this game as well. Uh, would you like me to go over my list? <clears throat> Let's do it. The Piga. Okay, so I'm running a two detachment Crusher Stampede list. My warlord is this Hive Tyrant, the pink one. He's got monster scything talents. He's got wings, so 16 inch movement. Uh, he has the toxic sacks and adrenal glands, so plus one to advances and charges and plus one damage. He's got murderous size as his adaptation, so he will be uh, getting five attacks, strength seven, AP minus four, four flat damage for regular attacks and five flat damage for Toxic sex attack, so uh, wound rolls of six. He has the Alpha Leader Beast, so I spent a CP for that so I could get uh, an additional uh, Warlord trait, and that Warlord trait is the Rampaging Beast. So once per phase, or once for the fight phase, and for the, that's for the turn, I get an extra D3 attacks with him. His uh, he knows three powers: two cast, one deny. Um, his powers are Smite, Aggressive Surge, and Infused Energies. Aggressive Surge and Infused Energies are blessing powers, so. 18 inch range, don't need line of sight, warp charge 6, uh, aggressive energies allows me to get an extra d3 attacks on a model, infused energies uh, lets me let a non-synapse creature, which are the hieroduels, yeah, which are just the hieroduels, get uh, reroll hit rolls, and so that's pretty much his powers, the next one is a malanthrope, um, so everything within 6 inches of him is minus 1 to hit, uh -oh. Bro, is this non-Eldar talk on Eldar Weekend? You bet your bippy, dude. Ugh. Alright, so... Um, so yeah, everything within him, uh, six inches of him is minus one to hit and shooting. I have a Hive Tyrant with Monstrous Bone Swords and the Synaptic Hive Blades as his relic. So, he ignores invulns. He has five attacks. He also has running claws. So five attacks, AP minus three, flat four damage with regular attacks, flat five with toxic sex. He also has adrenal glands. He has murder size as well. And he has the same thing, two casts, one deny, knows three powers, smite, aggressive surge, synaptic barrier. Synaptic barrier is a four up invuln on a single model. Uh, aggressive surge, same deal. And then I have the swarm lord. Swarm Lord has two cast two deny, smite, catalyst, onslaught, catalyst the five of feel no pain, onslaught is advanced and charge. I have two scythe tyro duels, two barbed tyro duels, and uh, two units of warriors. They both have the bioweapon bond and they both have adrenal glands. 
And that's pretty much it. <clears throat> okay. Um, you have the power to advance and be... You said you took the power to advance and charge, right? That is correct. Okay. And um, I can double move with the, the Swarm Lord. The Swarm Lord can double move. Okay. And I start with 6 CP. Alrighty. Well, Sweet, dude. Roll up the, uh, roll up the mission. This, this is the mission. I, I did it early just so I could change the objective. Oh, okay, first. perfect. All right. All right, so you ready so to roll is, for attack or defense? What is the mission second? This is 22. This is 22. That is conversion. So he get the, this one is aspect scan. One unit from your army can start to perform this action at the end of your movement phase. If it's within range of an objective marker that has not been scanned by a unit of your army, a unit cannot start this action while there are any enemy units, excluding your craft, in range of the same objective marker. This action is complete at the start of your next command phase, or at the end of the battle, whichever happens first, provided the unit attempting it is still in range of the same objective marker. If this action is successfully completed, the objective marker is said to have been scanned by your army. Uh... I think you're looking at the wrong one. I'm oh. looking at the... Oh, I'm looking the... at 23. Whoops. Cool. Oh, okay. I was like, wait. So this one is leading from the front. In this mission, a player only receives the Battle Forge CP bonus at the start of their command phase if their Warlord is on the battlefield or they are embarked on a transport model that is on the battlefield. Okay. So okay. we only get CP if we have a Warlord or there's stuff tr embarked on a transport. Or the okay. Warlord is embarked on a transport that's on the battlefield. And then the progressive objective is Corrupted Ground. At the end of each player's turn, the player whose turn it is scores four victory points. If they control the objective marker in their opponent's deployment zone. Score two if they control one or more objectives that are in no man's land. And lose a victory point if they do not control the objective marker in their own deployment zone. A player's victory point score can never be reduced to less than zero. Cool. That's wild. It's the first mission All right. where you lose VP. Let's do it. Let me let's roll off. Um, I rolled a four. Good. I got a two. You can place first. You can be defender. And then we should probably also do secondary. We gotta do secondaries, yeah. So I'm gonna take bring it down, obviously. Makes sense. Um the way, so your Tyranid Warriors are the only native obsec to give the big monsters you declared at the start of your command phase right that is correct okay and you can only do that on one of them that is correct and they do count for however many wounds they have left for yeah yeah, yeah. okay so let's see bring it down it really help if i had the book to go through this pdf dude i'm, I'm like comfy right now i got my cafecito i got my regaton i'm just like chilling I don't think you can hear the music, can you? No, what are you playing? It's just like whatever Twitch, like they have like a reggaeton uh, playlist that's like non-licensed, so you can just play it and not mm. get like banned or whatever. Three characters, do you have three, right? Four? With three, the round throw? Three characters. Um, is two, the uh, the hive tyrants aren't yeah, characters two oh wait four characters that's correct yep four so that would get me 12 13 to put those and also bring it down so i think i'm gonna do assassinate no I'll bring it down it's in the same category bring it down shit dude Stranglehold or engage. How many characters do you have? Like four? Uh, I have three. Farsight and two commanders. Cool. Alright, I got mine. Here are more models. I'm gonna do Stranglehold. And then let's do I guess I'll do two the last. So that would be both my big 
crisis units. Um, and then the crisis bodyguard with uh, cyclic and double plasma. Okay, sounds good. Okay, and then my deep strikes, uh, I am starting uh, the five man crisis with cyclic plasma infusion in deep strike, as well as the bodyguard with cyclic and double plasma. And everything else is going to start on the board. Cool. So, all right. Uh, so, my go. My first drop. So it's oh it's this table. Gotcha. Okay. Um let's do So I'm going to put my devil fish. And then what's in each devil fish? They just have breachers? The breacher squads, yeah. Uh hold on, let me see how I wanna put this in. <laughs> So you have eight inch movement, right, on the big guys? Um, eight inch on the barbed, twelve inch on the scythe, Iridals. Twelve on the scythe, yes. and then you have wings on the hive tyrant. So those are sixteen. Sixteen inches. Okay. Okay. So one preacher squad. Cool. With inside a double fish. All right, I've got one flying hive tyrant. Okay. So my bodyguard unit. And they have two drones or just one? Just one. Okay, cool. My second. Um, and then there is also, uh, I should probably mark that now. There's an Iridium suit in each squad. So I'll go ahead and just put a star at the front of a guy. Cool. And that's going to be the Iridium. Alrighty. So yeah, my uh, I put my second drop. It's the blue hive tyrant. So my second double fish. Okay. Look at that. Right. Alrighty, I've got a Malanth rope. Right here. Okay. So it is obscuring light cover defensible reach. Cool. Uh, let me do some mushroom. I will drop my. Cold Star Commander. Do you have the upgrade on any of these suits? To... Oh yeah, the Cold Star just gets to redeploy, right? Am I correct there? Uh, so once per battle, yeah. in the at the start of my movement phase, I just pick them up, and I can either redeploy or throw them into Deep Strike. Cool. And um, for redeploy, you can put them on anywhere on the board, is that correct? Or Anywhere, just nine inches away from me. Perfect.
All right, so that's your commander down. Yep. I will put. So are we before we so before we go further, for these ruins, are we playing because they're kind of hollowed out? We're playing the um, the square around, right? So if you're inside, I can shoot in there, but you're just gonna get like cover, or do you want to? Or are we playing it as like just a wall where? True, I mean, true line of sight's gonna apply no matter what. So if it's a shield, yeah, I'm talking more for me. So like if yeah. I'm. I'm not going to be able okay. to shoot at you if you're in those terrain pieces, because I'm not going to be able to see you. Okay. You have that, indirect, so it doesn't matter for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. But yeah. Cool. So this Scythe Iridal is going to be right here. Okay. Come on now. So I'm going to shuffle these around a little bit, but I'm going to drop my Crisis Bomb suit behind this wall next to the commander. One second. I've got another Scythe Tire Duel. It's gonna be right here. Okay. So I'll put a unit of stealth suits. So these guys can infiltrate. Uh, one second. Do you have hive guard? I do not have hive guard. Suits. Alrighty, I got another barb hybrid. Oh, another hybrid. It's a barb one. There you go. Right, and then I've just got farsight and another commander. So drop farsight here. Yeah, so that bar power duel is going to go right there. There's a random dice in here. That's, wait, is that a dice? Where at? Oh no, that's a lamp. I was like, oh, yeah, that's, like a dice. It does look and like I thought dice. it was like, I was like, things are really, yeah. So my commander's gonna go there, uh, the marker drones are gonna go right outside this wall. Okay. Alright, I got a unit of four tiered warriors. I'm gonna put down right here. Okay. 
Uh, I think I'm all done. So, all right, creatures got... are in transports and that. Cool. So I'm gonna just set up my secondaries. Cool. I've got Swarmlord down. And a unit of two unit warriors. Okay, they are down. I'm all down too. Alright, uh, yeah, let's get to it. Cool, let's roll off. Roll the four. The one. Alright, dude. Uh, so I'm going Montka. Uh, cool. I'm gonna really quickly just shuffle around my Devilfish with the pregame move. And then you'll get to do your pregame, your turn. So that's a stratagem, right? The Devilfish? No, the, the Devilfish, if I go Monka, I just get a. Uh, pre-game move of nine inches. You also get, do you also get a redeployment or no? Or am I thinking of something mm. else? Koyon, I'm thinking. No, I don't have, I don't have that. No, uh, I don't oh, have gotcha. It. Okay. Yeah, just normal move up to nine inches, so. I was really hoping to go second, actually. Yeah, I wasn't really sure how I wanted this to go, but. Yeah, it went. Sec second so. would have been a lot better for me. So yeah, still fish is just gonna hide back here. And then these stealth suits are purposefully more than, uh, should be more than an inch away from the wall. That was my intention, so you would have to come around. Just that extra wall. Makes sense. I don't believe your big beasts are can go through breachable. They your cannot. Warriors can. Okay, um, yeah, your turn. I'm gonna go get a drink really quick. Okay. Be right back. All right, so turn one. I'll do my little buffs. Let me see. Give the plus one to hit to both the higher rules. Yeah, I think I can fly over this still. Stratagem. Make me have to do it again. Let me see. I think it's minus. It's minus two for that one grenade, or not grenade, but the battle suit. Strat yeah, minus minus two to your charge. Is it a strat or is it a? It is a strat. One CP, right? Mm-hmm. Cool. Okay. So yeah, um, I'm giving the warriors buffs to both the barbed hieratals. Those are the only synaptic links I got, so I'll get the movement. Five. So I get 3.5 inches of movement through there. Will that put me? What does that look like from this barbed hyra duel to those cell suits? It's like two inches. Uh, in for charge? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like a two inch. Gotcha. I will go ahead and just... Yeah, I'll put him there. Okay. The barbed hyra duel will mosey his eight. I should get. I can, let me see. Yeah. Okay. I'll still be able to see that devil fish. This scythe hierodule will move eight. Four more inches. 
Bar power tool will move his eight. What's the AP on the flamers on the side? AP two. Okay. Okay, and I'll be able to see that devil fish, and I have range. Okay. I'm gonna move my swarm lord right out to here. still be touching that marker yep still touching the marker okay hive tyrant's gonna move right over here the malanthrope will move this way i think i actually gotta i'm gonna shuffle this flying hive tyrant this way Okay, we'll go with that. Go for a little run. Okay. I think that's going to be my movement. Okay. I'm going to get to my psychic phase. I'm going to start with the Swarm Lord. Swarm is going to attempt to cast Catalyst. Need a five. Does not go off, or it's a six. Excuse me. Next, I'm gonna to attempt to cast onslaught. Need a six. Does go off, so that's gonna go on the pink hive tyrant. flying hive tyrant. He's done. Next, I'm gonna go ahead with the pink hive tyrant. He's gonna to attempt to cast uh, aggressive surge. Need a six. Does go off. I'm gonna give him d3 extra attacks. One extra attack, so we'll have six attacks so far. And then I'm going to go ahead and just cast Infused Energies. Uh, I need a six for that. Goes off on an 11. I'm going to put that onto... Let me see. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put that right here on the green Iridol. Okay. And then I was going to ask you, with that one stratagem you have, is it just for the this unit will be minus two to charge? Not All right. Yeah, okay. It doesn't matter who's charging. It doesn't matter who. Yeah. Perfect. Just making it's, sure. It's not targeted like the custodes one. Gotcha. It's just... PP. Good. All right. Next, I'm going to go with the blue Hive Tyrant, and he's just going to cast Synaptic Energies or Synaptic Infusion. I need a six for that. Does not go off. And his other powers are wasted. I have no targets. I'll get to my shooting phase. I'm going to go ahead and have this Hive Tyrant double move with the Swarm Lord ability. I want to be an inch away from you as the goal. Uh, if you get Fine, we'll, ju we'll just say you are there. Cool. Fine. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm just like right there. Cool. So that's that. And I'll get to shooting. So I'm going to start with the yellow Iridol. He's going to shoot at this double fish right here. Uh, okay. Any defensive strats or anything? No, go for it. Okay, cool. Alright, so I've got 12 shots. I gave them plus 1 from the Warriors, so hitting you on 2s. And then Strength 8 versus T7, so 3s. That's going to be 10 AP 2. That's uh, what's damage. the damage? Two. Okay. All right. So he's dead. So let me disembark.
The range of your flame is like 18, right? Yeah, no, I'm nowhere near you. You are good. Or for explosion. All right, how many, uh, how many die? Oh, yes. Just one. one. Not bad. Not at all. All right, rinse and repeat from the orange one into the other. I've heard. Okay. All right. So, it's going to be... 12. Hitting you on two. Woo, look at those ones. And then wounding you on threes. Alright, so that's gonna be four EP2. Four EP2, so five ups. I uh, don't make a single one, so. Right, that puts him at four. Five remaining. Okay, so that's going to be all that shooting. I'm going to go ahead and have the Scythe Hybrid duel shoot into the stealth suits. 3d6 flamer. Alright, I've got nine shots going your way. Wounding you on threes. Alright, so I've got six AP2. I think you get like a two up to your save or something? So we. Currently, I'm at so three up base plus two because it's one for cover and then an additional if I'm in cover. So it's just going to be on my regular save after mats. So six at three up. Okay, I take one. Okay. One Leave their three wounds apiece. Are there three or two wounds? I forgot. Well, I'm pretty sure it's three, but I'm pretty sure wrong. It's my first game. So. No worries. Oh, they're elites. Uh, oh, yeah, two boots. There you go. So one is down to one. Okay. That's everything. So I will go to my charge phase. I'm going to declare okay. a charge from the uh, green Scythe Hyrule into the stealth suits. This is your two inch. Um. CP, what are the odds you roll like a one and two? You know what? Might as well. So, so it's a four inch charge now, I believe. Uh, yeah. If I measure correctly. Yeah, we yep. said two away. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so four inch charge. I'm in on a five. You're good. All right, so I'm gonna come over this way. I'm gonna leave that, and then the scythe, the the hive tyrant's gonna charge. That's a it's a three-inch charge coming down to a two-inch charge, so I just can't fail because of adrenal glands. I'll roll it anyway. Okay, boxcars. Very unnecessary. I'll just be right here. And I'll spend a CP of my own. Going down to... S no, I don't really think I need to do that. I mean, because what you... You don't get the bonuses to your save in combat, correct? Not for save, but I am minus one to hit. Minus one Um, hit. Yeah. I'll double, let me reread the plus one, but I'm pretty sure that one is, yeah, because I'm not getting any of the benefits of cover, so okay. I'm only just minus one to hit, so it's okay. just negative. That's fine. Um, so yeah, that's those are the only charges I got for you. I'm going to go into my fight phase. This guy's shaking, look at them rolls. Judge! <laughs> Thanks, B4, Y, Max. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start with the pink hive tyrant. I'm going to use my rampaging beast for the phase. Okay. So giving him an extra D3 attacks. An extra three attacks. So he's got five, six, seven, eight, nine attacks. Is that on top of the ones you already gave him at the beginning? Yes, that's correct. So he okay. so he normally has five. He got plus one for the power and then plus three right now. So he's going to have nine attacks. Okay. So nine attacks with the claws. One with the tail. I'm hitting you on threes because the minus one, re-rolling ones for the red only. Good thing. Okay, so I drop three attacks and then wounding you on threes. Because what are you, T5? T4? I am T4. Okay, cool. 
So these uh, AP minus four, four flat damage. Okay, uh, so that'll just wipe them. But before they die, I'm going to spend one CP for failsafe detonator. So use a stratagem in any phase when a battle suit model from your army is destroyed before removing it. Uh, instead of any rules that are triggered uh, when that model is destroyed. Doesn't have any in this case. Roll 1d6 for each unit within three inches of that model. Um, adding one to the roll if the destroyed model has a wounds characteristic of 12 or more. So uh, on a three, so on basically on a two through four, you're going to take d3 on both of these guys. Uh, and on a five and six, you're going to take flat three. Okay. So uh, and so you're down to five move. CP. No, I should be down to six. I start with eight. I use one for the charge and then one for this. I should be at six. Um, so let's roll first for your hive tyrants. All right, so he's going to take D3. So one. And then for the other guy, uh, he's going to take D3. Two. So which one takes? So the side takes two and the hive tyrant takes one. Okay. So I'll do my, uh, consolidation this guy just have him come like this over here not touch that terrain and then this guy will just stay on and yeah that's okay that's my turn so no morale um command phase back to you so i killed one unit for grind or two units two units for grind and i don't get stranglehold yet and i don't get assassination yet so on to you okay uh, so, in my command phase, a couple of buffs to give out. The five-man crisis unit is going to get the obsec from the enforcer. Um, they are also the auto advance of eight inches from the crisis. Is going to go onto the crisis bodyguard in the back just to get some extra movement. Uh, actually, hold on. Let me pre-measure some stuff. Before I do that, now that'll actually go on the crisis unit in the front as well. Um, and then, far so sights, uh, sixes to uh, his exemplar of the Monka is going to go on to uh, the five man blob. So that's the re-rolling wounds if the target's within 12 inches. Um, and then, let's see. I'm going to check my, make sure I don't miss anything else. Uh, da -da -da -da. Ah yes, through boldness victory. One more thing from the enforcer. Um, so that's also going to go on the five-man blob. Um, so that is sixes to hit, auto wound the target. Okay. Right. So let's do some marker light actions right now as well. Um, so from these two marker drones, we're just gonna start the action on to the. Uh, I still can't see your big guy in there. That's fine. So we're going to go into the... Have a think here. Uh, into the orange. The orange hybrid duel. Okay. So, two marker light actions starting there. Those are my shooting phase. So yeah. Um, I am going to also spend, it's one for the Devilfish strats. Yeah, combat debarkation. So that's the disembark after moving. All right. So that's what just put me there. So Is it since we're in Monka. Yes, it is. Good question. So I will probably 
We can spend another. Probably still moves like eight or something, right? Yeah, and actually we can still advance. So. Yeah. We're to sixty. Yeah, we're moving eight. So that's fine. All right. So spending one for the debarkation. So I'm gonna start with a devilfish, advancing. One, sick. I actually have to reroll that. Nine puts me here. It's not at all what I want. Mm, I guess I can actually come out. Ah, <sighs> yeah. I'm gonna spend one. Oh my god. Oh, PP. Can't P go. Mine actually, it still gets me. Well, you I can get, still like, move out. I can like still move out. Nine inch move out. Yeah. yeah, I can still move. So. I would have wanted to come more over here to be on the objective, but oh well. Uh, oh, oh. Yeah, so I'm going to get out right now. So, nine inches. Give me. Oh, uh, so B4Y Max says, Heads up, towel player. When you start the you declare the action, and then at the end of the action, you roll the dice. So... So you declare targets for, for marker lights, then you roll the dice at the end of the action. And I thought it's, it starts it? in the shooting. The action starts in the shooting phase, pretty sure. It completes in the shooting. Let me see. Yep, so that's correct. So you could start the action with drones, move to see your target, then target it, is what he's saying. No, you can't move to see the target. Like your target has to be visible when you start it. Um, oh. So yeah, you start your action at the, uh, at the start of your movement phase. So the action is completed at the start of your next shooting phase. If this action is completed, then you roll the dice. Oh. So you roll the dice in your shooting phase. Gotcha. Not right now. You only you have to have um, line of sight though. To it first. Move. Yeah. Yes. Oh yes. well, chat saying. Yeah, no, it doesn't. So these creatures. I can come over this. I can move this uh, dice out of the way. It's just in the way. Pathfinders can move and do it. That's correct. That's correct. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can they can do it at the end. This is a, a this is a suit you didn't. This is just marker drawing. Okay. Yeah, well, marker I had to suit. I had to join just to tell you, Alberto, you're wrong. You're being you're. Dude. I'm wrong. I'm reading yeah. the book. Whoa, yo. No, no, so you can you can target. You don't have to target until after the action is complete. Reread the read the order of operations. You you Let's start the action. You move. You can only certain movement units can units can move and then do the action. But drones are one of them. So you start the action. You move. Then when the action is complete, you select a legal target within thirty six inches and roll a dice for every marker light in the unit. Yeah, but the dice are still rolled in the shooting phase, which is what the question. They are rolled at the start of the shooting phase, but you yes. don't have to target because you were, you weren't able to see one of the things you wanted to target. Did you, Alberto, did you advance these? Why are they moving so fast? <laughs> no, it's three inches to disembark and then they move. So I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move them back. It's nine inches. Oh, yeah, I yeah, it's it was, nine inches. Oh, oh gotcha. Because I was just like, I saw them move in twelve. I was like, three. No, no, no. Oh, gotcha. I'm gotcha. just getting distracted. That yeah, it, they're not gonna go over nine inches. I'm gonna move. Them I get you. Okay, no worries. Dude. Yeah. I was just confused. I was like, what? Yeah, 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 they shouldn't be that far. <laughs> Some of them are. No camera, cuz. <laughs> That's like my favorite meme now, dude. Have you seen that one? Or no? Uh, I haven't. Oh, yeah. Alright, so they should all be no more than nine inches away from the... Perfect. From it. Yeah, an inch away from your guy? Okay. Um, if this action is... Let me reread that. Okay, I mean, if that's the case, then it's going to give me more marker lights with the drones in the back, possibly, but... Um, this unit of crisis suits is going to move... Oh yeah, they have actual physics. That's so annoying, dude. <laughs> yeah. I actually can't move over the... Is 
what do they move? Ten inches. Uh, so they have them up to eighteen inches right now because of the crisis suits commander's ability. So they had auto advance eight on top of their ten inch movement. Cool. This is really really annoying. Yeah, that's pretty vile. Suspect's gonna have to go here. Just in case I need range to that. In the back. Perfect. No shot, dude. <laughs> so annoying. Sitting the wall. Okay. Um, so next, my enforcer is going to he moves eight inches. Not going to advance. Because I just wanted to cut. Uh, just about here. Yeah, this movement phase, this movement shooting phase is going to take a while, dude, because I no worries, dude. got to learn how to maneuver this army. Uh, these breachers up here are going to just, for right now, just move back to this objective. Our site is going to move this. <laughs> oh my god. Slam. <laughs> you just smack the wall. Yeah. So I'll put him there. I see your guy from here. No. Yeah, because the guys uh, touching the wall will be fine, right? They'll be able to see because they can draw true lines. They're not even. Uh, they're, yeah, for their flamers, but they also just ignore line of sight, anyways. Those guys do. Oh, this guy, Farsight, doesn't then. Uh, no. Can you give Farsight uh, a custom kit, or does he just come with pre preload? No, I just preloaded. Gotcha. Whatever he's preloaded. Uh, Crisis Commander's just gonna come here. <laughs> right now. So, these marker drones are part of uh, which Commander's unit? The Enforcer. Okay. I'm not really sure what I want to do with the cold star yet, so he's just going to stay there for right now. Can you only overwatch with one unit at a time? You can't do, like, multiple units, right? Yeah, that's gone. It's just uh, normal overwatches. Yeah. It, they just work like other armies now. Gotcha. So these two marker drones will just come here. Um. Okay. So that's going to be my movement. Uh, going to do the actions from the marker drones. So, I mean... We'll start with the two for the Enforcer, going into the Barbed Hyra Duel there. Already? Threes, right? Yeah. Oh, dude. Ooh. Uh, same thing from the other two. Alright, he's got so. two markers. You wanna just put it back next to him? Two, yeah. Alrighty. Okay, um, so we're going to go into the shooting phase. We're going to go into the breachers. Uh, we're going to spend one to uh, give them. I think it's reroll all wounds. Okay. And then, let me see if I want to spend on this other one. 
So yeah, breach and clear, so you don't get cover, which you don't get anyways, but uh, I can reroll the wound roll. Okay. Um, and then I'm also going to do Pulse Onslaught to give them uh, unmodified hit rolls of six auto wound. Okay, so you're down to three? Uh, should be, yeah, three. Okay, cool. Three. All right, um, so we're going to start there. So who are you targeting? The Scythe Hire Duel with the Breachers. Go for it. It's going to be 10 shots. Uh, these are hitting on threes because of Farsight. What's that? Or, or is it just the... Oh, it's the, the range, if right? I'm within 12, yeah. I just get okay, cool. our marker light. So these are auto wounds. And then these are strength six. So, five, uh, so I need fives. Rerolling. Just rerolling. Oh, wow. Good, good wounds. Oh, you, you, those two fives are wounded as well. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And one more. Nice. All right, All right. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Ten. And these are going to be on your invuln. All right. Save. Ten five ups. I take six. Okay. So I'm down to ten. Um. All right. I already made a first mistake, which was I was going to fire and fade this crisis unit, but too bad. Could be learned. Um, so the crisis unit, uh, we're going to dump the, um, uh, flamers into the hive tyrants. Shit, I forgot and to mention, he does have the biomorphic carapace as well. What does that do? Just minus one to wound. If that changes your target. Uh, mm, no, nah, not really. That's okay. fine. Um, yeah. No, it doesn't. It's fine. Um, let me think, though. I think I might start with this unit of... Yeah, we're going to start with the Crisis unit. The Bida Guards in the back first. So all they have is two uh, AFPs. So don't need line of sight. Cool. That's going to be six uh, D6 shots. So these are going into your Hive Tyrant. Cool. Number of shots is going to be LS6, 11, 22, 22. So these are hitting on fours. There's okay. no marker light. I'm more than 12 away. Uh, Rerolling ones for commander. And then T8. C7, so minus Fives. one wound. Sixes. Sixes. Yeah. Alright, so just two at minus one. Two at minus one, so four ups here. Pass both. Okay. Um, next, we'll do... Uh, let's do the big crisis unit. Um, it's just going to go into the hive tyrant. Okay. So what do they got? So flamers, and then um, double two air, air fragmentation projectors. Okay. Just trying to see if I want to split anything, but I don't think so. Because you're at what? 11 down here? 10? 11? Uh, actually, you know what? Let me start with the devilfish first. Devilfish is going to fire the just the SMS uh, into the side tire duel. Okay. So, eight shots. So, four hits. And then these are fives. Oh, the BS, does the BS bracket on it, or no? Uh, I, it might. Doesn't matter anyways, though. I okay, with it. cool, cool. Um, alright. Yeah, we'll just go Crisis Unit into the uh, Hive Tyrant. So, everything there. 
So we're going to start with the flamers. So okay. 5d6. So these are just auto hit. So it's going to be 6, 11, 12, 13, 17, 18, 19, 20. Ah, and then wounding on fives. Sixes, no? What's the strength of the flamer? Yeah, sixes. Sixes. Uh, no, I think it's six. It's five. It's The flamers are four. Strength four, so you'd be wounding on fives normally. Minus one to wound would make it sixes. Oh, wait, and it's d6 plus two, I forgot. So I get two shots, two additional shots for each guy. So that's ten. Just ten additional hits. Okay. Um, one second. My, not my strats, one of my rules. Yeah, so I do get ones to re-roll ones to wound. Cool. For my car. So, All right. so it's going to be five. Okay. Uh, and you are within my car range. So there's going to be about minus one. Okay. So five four ups here. Uh, and then I guess I should do yeah. So it'll be the AFPs next. So I take one. Clear. Okay. To 10. So it's gonna be ten d six total shots. So they each well, have two flamers and two. No no no. Only one flamer and then two. AFP uh, each. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. So it's twelve. Thirty five. Thirty thirty five. Yeah. All right. So these are uh, so six are auto wounding, and then I'm re-rolling ones for the commander. Uh, the auto wounding is from the uh, through boldness victory that I gave him, and just re-roll ones for commander. But we are hitting you on threes because of farsight. Let's got those. And then these are also wounding on sixes because of your minus. Rerolling ones. Okay. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Four ups here. Alright, I take five. Okay, so you're down to five. Okay, um, let's see, yeah, it's really a bummer I should have done the fire and fade, but I don't know how to play this army, so oh well. Alright, that's probably going to do my turn then, because I fucked up the movement there, so. Alright, on to you. Uh, scoring wise for you? Uh, I don't believe I get anything right now. Gotcha. Yeah, so we're on to you. Okay, so my command phase. Uh, let me see, we're round two. I will spend the CP I got. I'm going to make my uh, strangle, my, my Scythe High Riddle count as OPSEC, so I'll steal that objective for you, from you. And I will get uh, 12 for primary. So that'll give me, because I hold two. To your one, and that's more than you. Okay, the command phase buffs. Both the higher duels will get the plus one. Uh, the same higher duels, and okay. I'll get some movement. Let me see. You don't have any denies, right, or anything? Like, nope. It's like nothing denies. like that. Cool, cool. Okay, let's go. 
I have this hybrid will come up his 12 inches. He's going to vibe. This barbed hybrid will move his 8 inches. Oh yeah, and these marker lights go away. Swarm Lord will come, one, two, three. Let's see. Six. And then I got three more. I have the Flying Hive Tyrant come out this way. the movement on the mid bracket hive tyrant it's 10 inches twelve inches okay take that can you measure an inch away from that drone please uh from which one the one I'm right next to oh the red one yeah point two Point two more. Okay. Where am I there? Uh, looks like you're good. Let's see. If I'm... How about now? Where's that at? Uh, you, you need point one more away. Oh, let me see. I don't know no. if you fit. Let me see. I wish I could do auras on your stuff, but I can't. Let's put that there. Yeah, I'm right in it. Yep. Not right there. Okay. That should. Yeah, be you're in exactly an inch, so. I think you need to be outside of that. But. Uh, I thought it was within an inch was engagement range. That should mean I'm good, no? Uh, yes. Sure, do do doesn't matter. Alright, so then that's going to be that movement. This bar pirate will continue to mosey up. One is within an inch. Mm. Within an inch means in an inch. Within is in. All right. So if you're exactly an inch away, then you're fine. That's that's the way I read that. Because it's like it's like wholly within or within. Oh, let me see. Or you know what? That actually might be right. I think I might be wrong there. Um, uh, I'm getting the snark now. All right, how's this look? Uh, I'm pretty sure anything else you had is. Let's. Yeah, you're. What about good that other drone? There. Okay, so I should be without of an inch now. Yeah, now you're good. I can avoid some snark. Okay. There you go. Um, this Scythe will go ahead and just move. Be. Let me see. I do want to be without an inch. There we go. Should be 1.1. And this goes away. Okay. Let me see. Am I crazy here? Whoa, why did I switch the centimeters? Inches. Okay. Nope. Okay, so I'm going to get to my psychic phase. So I'm going to start with the Swarm Lord. Swarm Lord's going to attempt to cast Catalyst. I need a six. Does go off on a six. So I'm gonna put that right here onto my blue hive tyrant. Mm -hmm. Next I'm gonna cast Onslaught. Also from the Swarm Lord, need a six. Goes off on an eleven. I'm gonna put it on the blue hive tyrant again. Right. Swarm Lord's done. Next cast is gonna be from the 
this Hive Tyrant right here, uh, the blue one, he's going to attempt to cast Aggressive Energies, e to 6, goes off, I'm going to give himself d3 extra attacks, uh, an extra 3 attacks he gets, so I'll put that right there, then I'm going to go ahead and cast from him, Synaptic Barrier, to 6, goes off and on 11, and so that's going to go on the pink guys right here, okay. that's done, um, and then lastly I'm going to go on the Hive Tyrant right here, I'm going to go ahead and attempt to cast Smite from him, that would be, one's closer than the other, uh, equi it's equidistant so your pick of either the Enforcer or the uh, Crisis Unit. So casting, need a 5, goes off, it's going to go on the crisis unit, Okay. E 3 2 damage, 2 mortals. 2 damage, so that'll just plank off the drum. Just deny it, that's what uh, uh, chat says, deny, <laughs> deny it, but I don't think you can. Um, I don't have the, I don't have the, uh, the relic. Lastly, I'm going to cast infused energies from him, I need a 6, goes off, I'm going to put that onto the green one here. No, I'm gonna... Let me see. Put it on the Hyrule Duel. The bar... The Scythe Hyrule Duel. Yeah. Okay. So that's my fight phase. That's Or that's my psychic phase, so I'll get to my shooting phase. I'm gonna go ahead and have the Blue Hive Tyrant double move. With the Hype Commander ability, he has Onslaught so he can advance and charge. So I'll advance him and I get plus one to this. So extra six, so 22 inch movement here. I want him right here. Can you measure like an inch out, like an, a little over an inch from... You're good. Yeah, okay. I want to be close to that. So Farsight. What does Farsight got, by the way? Like a fight last or anything crazy? No, uh, they don't have a fight last. Uh, he just has five attacks, uh, strength 10, minus three, flat three. Cool. All right, so I'll just start shooting. Okay. Let's see. Oh, yeah, and I did get grind because uh, you didn't kill anything. I forgot to yeah. score that. Yeah, three for grind. Um, okay. And then... Cool. So shooting, shooting. Is it gonna hire to see that? Yeah, you're going to the Delphish. You should be. I, I you should see it. Okay. So yeah, the um the orange Hyrule is gonna go ahead and shoot at the Devilfish. Twelve shots, hitting you on twos. One drop, and then wounding you on threes. Uh, that's going to be eight AP2. He's dead. Does he blow? Nope. Okay. That's done. Next bit of shooting here. Uh, the yellow one, he's going to shoot at those crisis suits. Mm hmm Okay, so 12 shots, same deal, hitting on twos. Drop two, and then your T5, so threes. Alright, so this is going to be uh, six EP2. So these are on the, sorry, on the bodyguard in the back or the bigger? The big, the big squad. Okay, so six, uh, I will start doing them. What's the damage? Uh, two damage each, so okay. drones. So one at a time on the drones. Makes it five more. Oh, are these shield drones? So one. Yeah, okay. so one drone is dead. All right, so you got four left. Make it. Another drone. Two more left. Make it. And make it so one drone is left. Cool. Okay. Next, it's going to be the pink flamer is going to go into those crisis suits. Okay. 
3d6. So that's 11. And then threes. All right, so that's gonna be eight AP two, and these are one damage, so you can take these two at a time on the drone until it dies, I guess, uh, all right. Let me think if I wanna take these on the, uh, the Iridium, but no, I'll do it on the drone. So two at a time. Oops. Come on. Okay, so he's left with one. All right, six left. Good. Good. So four left. Four left. Good. Five, three left. Oh my god. Gonna We're do doing it, it dude. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> All right, two left now. And then just two. Uh, I'm just gonna take these on. The iridium. Uh, the iridium. So, so four up. Uh, he has a two up plus cover, so three up. Oh so yeah, he's infantry. Two. Three up. So good. Cool. Alrighty, dude. Um, I've got the green one into the breachers now. 3d6. That's gonna be 10. And then strength 6, so 3s. Or 2s, right? Yeah, 2s. Yeah, and they're 2 3. So 8, so. AP 2. So 6s? Or 5s, 5s, because you get plus 1. Yeah, it should be five because Yeah, yeah. Uh, eight. Make one, so seven die, three are left. Okay, that's all my shooting. I don't have any other things to shoot. So get the charges. Um, I'm going to start with the Scythe Hyra Duel, charging into the three guys right here. What are you at right now? It looks like a three inch. Three inch charge. Can, you I can't add it. Five. They're not battle suits, right? You can. Only yeah, do they're it. not. They. Oh, they're not the breach. Yeah, I can. Go ahead. Three inches. I'm in on a five. Just coming to say hello. Okay. Next, it's going to be... Oh, man. This guy will charge into Farsight. Good. What's his... What's Farsight's uh, armor save? What's up, guys? Yo, what up, dude? We're, uh, we're streaming, bro. Oh, are you guys playing your game? Yeah. Yeah. So he's in. Um, let me see. What's his toughness? Five? Farsight? Yeah. T5. How many wounds does he have? Uh, oh, you're seven. playing You're playing Farsight? Yeah, seven wounds. Yeah, I'm about to get dicked on. I already messed up some of the movement. So. Seven wounds. Where, two, uh, two where is the credit. stream at? I don't have oh, Twitch. Wait, to I, I uh, put it on the general, dude. Uh, I got the general. link down there. Oh. Yeah, there it so is. So he has seven wounds? Seven wounds left, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to spend one... Uh, going down to six for the mortal wound strat. Uh, since I completed a charge successfully, I'm gonna roll twelve dice, and every every three is going to be a mortal up to six. That is six exactly. Yeah, so just six mortals. Thanks. Down to one. So you only charged him, right? Yeah, I've only charged him. So, uh, him and the scythe hybrid so far. Okay. Next, I'm going to go ahead and charge the this. Barb Tyra Duel into those uh, broadsides or crisis suits. Go ahead. Okay. I'm in on a five, six, seven, eight. So I'll just. I was looking at your um, the question about cyclic and double ion on a crisis or cyclic plasma fusion. I am of the opinion that if you're taking the Master of Cayune, or not Master of Cayun, the Precision Hunter thing. I think you go double cyclic and double no, plasma. This was for a unit of crisis. Well, not oh, for a unit? Yeah, one cyclic double plasma is what I yeah. do. So um, I'm going to charge the pink one into those crisis suits as well. Okay. I think I need a seven. 
you're gonna have to go around your other body, so yeah. it looks like a seven. seven. It's nice to have the 30 inch range if you need to reach out and touch something, if you can't get yeah, close enough to that, it. that is true. Get it on any. I'm realizing that now. Yep, I'm in right there. Okay. Those are all the charges I've got to declare. Did you charge this five oh, oh, wound five turn? No, I do have to charge him still. Um, I'm going to go ahead and charge into... I'm going to multi-charge Farsight and the Enforcer. Well, let me see if I want to do that. Because how, how bad does your... Oh, yeah. No. Yeah, I'll multi-charge here. Okay. Would you like to Overwatch? No. No. Uh, go ahead. I'm in. All right, and you can't shoot in the fight phase, right? Like, I'm not crazy. I'm like, no. Okay, cool. No, I got the it. only thing that quote unquote does that is the thermo flamer, the the special system, because you use the same profile in okay. combat and yeah. in shooting. It's cool. like the only okay, thing. Just making sure I wasn't going crazy. All right. Um. So in that case, I'm gonna because you can interrupt. I'm gonna go ahead and declare with the blue hive tyrant first into farsight. It's gonna be. Eight attacks into him, one with the tail, so nine altogether. No, f no minus one or anything crazy. Uh, looking at it now. Nope. Looks like you're good to go. Okay. So, and your T five. T five, correct. Okay. So, wounding you, hitting you on twos. Wounding you on threes. Okay. So, um, I've got five that just ignore any invulns. Four are going to be at four damage each, one's going to be at five damage each, and then one no. What's eight. the minus? Minus three. Uh, minus three? All right, I got a six up. And the damage, I guess, doesn't matter all that much because you don't have a feel no pain. He's, he's going to die if I fail one. Yeah, okay. so he's dead. All right, and you see your warlord? He was. All right, so we'll get four for that. Uh, uh, if you have... Are you talking about Farsight? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You get four of invulns with Farsight. But I ignore invulns. He ignores them. Oh, fuck. Um, I'm gonna that have sucks. I'm going to pile in right here into these crisis suits. Or outsides. Or what it do. Uh, yeah, crisis. Would you like to interrupt? Uh, no. Okay. So, what? Let's see. Hold on. No. Okay. I'm going to have the green scythe go. Six right. attacks. Hitting you on threes. Rerolling ones. Reroll the one. And then wounding you on... T or killing you on twos. Okay, so those three, and then one more. So they're they're gone. Yeah, they're gone. The, uh, the pink hive tyrant will swing into the enforcer. So I'll do my rampaging beast, extra attacks, D3. So I have six attacks. Um, I'm gonna be hitting you on threes here because uh, I am wounded. I'm bracketed. Hitting you on threes, rerolling ones for the reds only. Rerolling the two ones. I'll hit, and then we need you on threes. Okay. So, this one you have invulns, so it does matter. Two are going to be damage four invulns, one's going to be damage five invuln, and one's no AP. Uh, D3. So, what is the minus exactly? Because I do have a plus one to my save. It's minus from four. The minus four. It's all minus four. Alright, so I have a 4-up invuln and a 5-up peel no pain, and I'm also reducing damage by 1. So I'll do the reds first. Okay, so, uh, cool. On my invuln. Actually, I'm going to do these one at a time, because I... I might actually just take these on the drones. What am I doing? Drones yeah. For the unit. So, alright. So I'm going to take, kill two marker drones with two of the reds. Oh, hold on, what's the damage of the blue and the red? Uh, the blue one is D3 damage, and it's and no the other AP. one? These, uh, so these two... Are going to be damage three with the reduction. This one's going to be damage four with the reduction. Okay, so I'm taking one of the damage four and one of the damage three outs. I'm okay. allocating those to two drones. Cool. And then four up on the red. I'm good. And then a four up on the blue. Uh, I take it. That's D3. D3 damage. One damage. Five up, peel, no pain. All right, so he takes one wound. Cool. And that puts him. At Six. I'm going to activate the pink Hyradol. Just pile in right here. 
tap you. Um, he's gonna swing with his uh, shit. I've got five, six attacks. Same deal, threes, rerolling ones. I'll hit and then wound you on twos. Strength ten. Four. EP minus three, and these are D3 plus three. Do you have a drone? <laughs> so we'll do on the drone first. All right, Good on the first way, three left. That's a dead drone. Uh, so that is a dead drone. And then two left. Two left, D3, uh, three EP. Uh, all right, so shield generators. Good. Um, good. Okay. Right, I'm good. Last one's the Barb Tyra duel. Uh, he's not going to pile in. He doesn't need to. And then he's got four attacks. He has infused energy, so he is going to be hitting you on threes and then re-rolling all fails. So just re-rolling the two fails. All hit, and then twos. Four. Same uh, profile. Um, I guess I have to declare if I'm doing it on the Iridium. Because they're what, minus four? Minus three. Minus three, so the Iridium... Doesn't really matter because they're all going to be four ups, so we'll just leave the iridium for last. All right, I'm just going to roll these at once because even if I fail them all, I'm not going to kill the iridium. Okay. All right, so I take one. D three plus three. They don't reduce damage, so it just kills one, right? They're four wounds. Uh, they should be four wounds, yes. So yeah, which one is just going to die? Okay. Uh, which one though? Let's see. I'm gonna take this guy at the front out. If I could grab him. I'll go ahead and All right. consolidate in, so I'll still be stuck in with you. Yep. Okay. So, yeah, so you just swing, swing, back. swing back now. Alright, and you meant to tag these Correct. bodyguards. Right? I did. Okay. So, we'll start with the Enforcer going into the Five Wound Hive Tyrant. Uh, he has. Sure, I gave him the thermoneutronic. Yep. So. Alright, so they're all going to be on the four moon of uh, the thermoneutronic. That's his only melee weapon. So it's going to be four base attacks, and then he gets an additional d6 plus two. Because it's the same flamer profile. So. And he gets to shoot this into combat? Or. or no, no. It's uh, it's uh, and it's technically a melee attack, but yeah, he's basically shooting into combat. Um, one additional. Nice. So, er, so one plus two, so three plus four is seven attacks. Alright, so these are hitting on threes. Doesn't have precision, so feels bad. Uh, and then seven, or er, G7, so fives. And minus one to wound, so sixes. Uh, six. So. One? Just one. Alrighty. Minus two. Four up. I'm good. Okay. Let me see. You have two uh, drones left, right? I do have two drones. Okay. <sighs> but the drones are part of the Cold Star. So if I, I would have to do the savior protocols. Okay. They're not part of his unit. Those can you fall? Yeah. So you can fall back with. Well, wait. Well, you still got your bodyguards to swing too. Never mind. Yeah. Hold on. Just piling in. That. And I believe they get. Three attacks plus one for the or the leader gets four, so it's gonna be four plus six, ten. All right, hitting on fives. Rerolling ones for the commander. All right. Uh, strength five, so needing fives. All right. Three, no AP. All right, three, three ups. Mm -hmm. All right, take two, five, uh, two, five up, feel no pains from Catalyst. I take two, so I'm down to 10. 
And then okay. my Crisis Flamer unit gets to swing as well. So we're just going to go into the Pink Hive or Pink Tiger duel. Let's see if Crisis Battle suits her the same as Bodyguard. Yeah. So it's going to be three attacks for each guy and then four for the Iridium leader. So that is 10, 13. On fives, re rolling once. Uh, and then fives. Alright, two. Two. Um, three ups on the pink one. Yep, so I take one. Down to 17. Okay, um, so now comes the question, do I want to just try to kill that Enforcer? <sighs> See if I you can, can sure as hell try. I, I think I will. I'm going to spend 3 CP, go down to 3, uh, to have him fight again. And I'll spend 1 as well, go down to 2 for for each appetite so I can reroll my wounds as well. So 6 attacks with the claws, 1 with the tail. Hitting on threes, re-rolling ones for the blues only. Reroll one of the blues. Alright, and then wounding you on threes, re-rolling fails. Okay, so that's gonna be three that would be invulns and one that's no AP. Three invulns, one no AP. Yeah, okay. and one would be damage five, or four, and two would be damage three. Okay, so let's do the damage four first, because if I fail this, I'll just save your protocol. I think that's how that works. Let me read the strat. Yeah, I think you get to take it first, and then if you fail it, then you do the save your protocol. Yeah, that is correct. So starting with the flat four damage, make it. Okay. Uh, next one. I uh, fail it. This is D. This is three damage. Three damage. Three damage would be down to two. Actually, I have five up, feel no pain, so I'm gonna. Um, which do I care to? Yeah, I'm gonna save my CP. So I'll, I'll just take the rest. So another one. And then the other, the last one you said, the red is no AP? It's, yeah, no AP D3. Okay, so two up on this, because plus one to my armor saves. I'm good. So I take six, six damage. damage. Each one reduces? No, because uh, well, uh, he's Well, these are, these are normally four damage, so the reduction is three damage. So oh! Can, yeah. I Okay, well, I have five appeal no pains, so... So take three. take three. Yeah. Put some at three. Cool. Yeah, okay. that's why I started with the four, because I thought I thought they were all But you're giving me the reduction. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, so yeah, that's, right. that's everything. So uh, no morale on your end, right? No, because you pretty much killed. So I'll get three for stranglehold. I got the four for assassinate. I got three for grind them down and I killed I would get, yeah, I killed another unit, two units, so I would get grand them down again. Because this is uh, the at the end of uh, yeah. This is the top. Um, I went. Oh, you went first. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, I will. Cool. So you got to kill two, three things. Because I killed the devil uh, fish, you... farsight, and then the breachers. Yeah, so I got to kill at least three things. Cool. All right. Uh. Here. Okay, so I'll go up one. Puts me up four. You'll get four for primary. All right. Um. So the enforcer is going to give the obsec to this unit of crisis suits. Uh, that's in combat with the higher duels. Okay. Let's see. Fall back. Can't fall back and shoot, I think. They call me. 
here. Yeah, let me think how I want to play this out. Yeah, and then we're going to go through Boldness Victory from the Enforcer into the Crisis Bodyguard Unit. That's in combat with the Hive Tyrant. Um, so those are the Sixes out of Wound. And then from the Cold Star Commander, the Auto Advance 6 inches. Um, doesn't matter because they're both in combat. Yeah, okay, that's it. Alright, so going on to my movement phase. Uh, these breachers can actually. Just gonna stay, I think, on that objective. 3 to 10. Forcer can shoot. Okay. So Cold Strike Commander. 14 inches this way. I think I'm honestly going to stay in combat with these because I can shoot into combat anyways. And I'm shooting there regardless. Uh, going to come in with my crisis units. So the five man bomb is going to do. Uh, do you want to measure nine for me from those two in combat and the yellow guy? Tell me how far back I can go. Be like right there. Alright, so that's nine? Yeah. And then. Is that nine away from your yellow guy over there? That's a little. Yeah. This one's a little close. Just a little. You're good. That's perfect. Yeah. Yep, you're good from the yellow guy too. You forgot your marker drones for the cold star, by the way. Oh, sorry. Oops. Yeah, you're good. The three man bodyguard. I want to come in with that. Sorry, I meant to declare the marker light action uh, into this Hyra duel with 17 wounds. Is that okay? Um, so if you're going to stay stuck in, you, you can't declare it. That uh, if they weren't stuck. These guys. Oh, are... no, no. The crisis suits. These ones. It has to be a target that you can shoot with that unit. Oh, okay. I believe is how that works. Um, I don't have the book in front. Of you. you have the book right there. Can you verify? Oh, you're right. You're right. It has to be an eligible shooting target. For that, the unit that has the marker lights. 
Yeah, so I think in that case, I might fall back with these crisis suits then. Because I forgot that I can't even shoot at them because they're stuck in. Uh, but where to fall back to? 10 inches puts me over there. Yeah, I'm just going to fall back with them so they won't shoot. Won't fire the marker lights because I already moved. Here, I can move that shit. Here you go. That is that. These guys are in marker light range, though. Uh, the bodyguard. gonna say screw it because I wanna fire and fade into that objective. These won't shoot as efficiently but that's fine. Okay. All right, uh, I think that's the end of my movement. So, let me, before I place those, finally let me check the range of my guns. I think you got 36, or? So, Cyclic is only 18. Oh. So I gotta make sure the guy in the back is in range. Uh, no, he's not, so I'm just going to move. Come in with this guy here. That should still be nine away from your dude. Yeah, very good. Okay, so uh, I'm going to spend basically it's all my CP here. So three is going to go into the five man blob, so they're going to get full rerolls to hit and wound um, from the far sight specific strats. Okay. And then I'm going to spend one more on Fire and Fade for the three-man bodyguard. So that unit has to shoot first, and then they can make a normal move of six inches. Perfect. Okay, so you're down okay. to zero. Yep. Okay. Um. So yeah, starting with the Crisis Bodyguard, we're going to go into the 18 wound Barbed Hyrule. Duel. Okay. So let's see. Give these guys one Cyclic, double Plasma. So we'll start with the cyclics. So that is three shots a guy, so nine shots. And then I will add the plasma in here as well. So plasma is two shots a guy, so six. Okay. So I'm out of far sight range, so these are just hitting on force. And then the cyclics are on fives and plasmas are on fours. So blues on the fours, fives on the reds. And then I do get one free uh, farsight reroll to wound. Oh, baby. That's pretty cool. Okay. All right. So one plasma and three cyclics go through. So what's the damage on these normally? Uh, plasma's flat three and then cyclic is just one damage. Okay, so I'll take the do the cyclic first, and that's AP like what? Uh, minus two. Minus two, so four ups on the barb for those two, for those three. I pass all three, and then for the plasma, it's AP three, so that's my minus four. Minus four. So minus invuln. Four. Uh, all right, I take that. So it's normally three damage. damage reduced down to two, and so I'm down to sixteen. All right, and then I'll make my normal move. <laughs> the fucking yeah, okay, wall, bro. It's weird like how freezing. some of these models have actual physics and like do that. It's weird. Oh, six inch. Uh, let's see. Next, 
we are going to start with, we'll do the Cold Star Commander first. So he's going to shoot everything at the Barbed Hyradon. Okay. So you can slow down, then I gave him. Alright, so he has a Fusion Blaster, High Open Burst Cannon, and Plasma Rifle. So, one Fusion Blaster, one Plasma, and then 10 shots with the High Open Burst. So he does have Precision of the Hunter, so he's rolling, rerolling all failed hits and wounds. So we are hitting you on twos, rerolling ones with everything. All right. Now the Fusion and Plasma are wounding on fours, and then the high output is wounding on fives. And you're rerolling all wounds. Yes. Cool. cool. Oh, good thing too. Jeez. Oh. oh. Okay. Well, didn't get with what I wanted. I. So too bad. Um. But yeah, six wounds at what, what's minus. The strength of these? Where you get plus one wound? Five wounds. Five wounds. Okay. AP. AP2. Alright, so five four ups here. Alright, I take two, which what's the damage on those? One? Single damage. Single damage. Down to fourteen. Yep. Okay. Uh next, we're just gonna go the blade the big uh I'm not sure yet actually. What do you think? Well I think I'm gonna go with the enforcer, gonna shoot into combat. Okay. Sure, they have the battle suit camera, but I'm pretty sure they do. I'm um, yeah, like you do. you do, yeah, definitely. Okay, so the enforcer has a burst cannon, cyclic ion, and the thermonutronic flamer. So six for the burst, three for those uh, plasma, or one, sorry, one for the plasma. Not plasma, sorry. Three for the cyclic ion, Jesus Christ. Um, and then the flamer. I'll do. I'll do the flamer separately because those are auto wounding. Okay. So these are hitting on twos. Okay. And then it's going to be, I think fives all around. Yep. Um, cyclic strength what? Strength seven if I don't overcharge, which I'm not overcharging. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, and then one free wound roll. All right. And what are these so, ones? The, the green ones I forgot. First cannons. First cannons. So they're strength six, so they would be six. Strength five. Oh, strength, strength five. five. So then those would be sixes. Oh, yeah, yours minus, minus one. one to wound. I mean, yeah. So two? Uh, cyclic. No, these don't wound either because of your minus one. Well, well no, seven. Oh, you're T7, you're T7, T sorry. I'm so, T7, yeah, so yeah, they will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So two wounds. Yeah, so two wounds. Four ups here. All right, pass one, fail one. It's one damage. Yep, just one damage. Down to four. And then I'll do the thermonutronic flamer. So D6 plus two auto hits, four. Two hits. Oh, you have to roll one wound still? Oh. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, no, so, those all failed. So, Sorry. What, yeah, so there was a five and a six, and what's its strength? Uh, strength four, so. So one wound. Just one at minus one. Minus, minus one, four up. Good. Okay. Um, These bodyguard are just going to fire at the Hive Tyrant in combat. Okay. Oh, those are blast. You those can't. are blast, so I can't. I just looked at at it. All right, so we're just going to do the uh, big crisis unit. It's going to go into the barbed high duel that has 14 wounds left. Yeah, we're just going to do that. So these guys have uh, pull it up. Oh, they didn't shoot already? Oh, it was the bodyguard. No, I fire the bodyguard. Yeah, the, the yeah, yeah, yeah. smaller bodyguard unit. Gotcha. Alright, so these are uh, Cyclic Ion, one Fusion, and one Plasma. 
I will overcharge here because I'm rerolling uh, everything. That's just so I can wound on fours instead of fives. Uh, I'm going to do these separately just because it's easier for me to keep track, but you can wait to do the saves after I'm done. Sounds good. So three shots for cyclic times five is going to be 15. And you're hitting on threes or fours? Uh, I am hitting on threes because of or some rerolling everything and so you're overcharging do you when, do you take mortals on ones or how does that work that was two ones right yeah, yeah i take two i take a mortal so i'll just use one drone yeah charge. makes sense and these are wounding on fours rerolling everything Well, that's those uh, nine so far. Do you want me to roll everything else before you take the saves or what? Um. Well, no. We, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, because what those are uh, even overcharged. They're what damage two. So they're gonna be damage two down so to it'd damage, be damage one. one. Yeah. So I'll just save the dice and then roll okay. them. Yeah. Uh. So fusion blaster, five fusion blasters. This is where I wanted to. Rolling once. Uh, and then these are fours as well. Rerolling. All right, three, three fusion three blasters. Fusion. I should probably do different colors. My bad. Um, I should also. Yeah. So you want to? I'll just count the blue as fusion on my end. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. And then these are going to be plasma. Two misses. Rolling, and then also wounding on fours. Reroll. And two okay. plasma. Two plasmas. Okay. Um, let's do the cyclic first. That's AP what? Cyclics are AP minus three right now. All right, so fives. All right, I take four damage right off the right off the bat. So that's gonna be. So four damage, then the fusion blasters, they're like five up invulns as well. Alright, pass one of those, fail two, and then the plasma's last. Alright, I pass, and the plasma's like EP like 102, right? Something. They're all on your invuln, yeah. Yeah, okay. So I take one plasma. So, so plasma's be, two. So that's going to be six damage without the fusion blasters so far. Alright, so these are D6 each, plus two if I'm within nine. You should uh, just be... measure from the back because I didn't say which ones. Oh, uh, near, actually, the front ones aren't even within nine, so it's just going to be D6. Okay, so 2D6. So 10. So 10. So that will be 8, so that's. Yeah, that's just enough to kill him. Alright, does he explode? He does not. Alright, that's going to be 3 for bring it down for you. Alright. Take it. Um, these guys shot, this guy shot, creatures are back there, All right? So that's, yeah, that's the end of my shooting phase. Okay. Um, so then fight phase? Mm hmm Okay, I'll swing with the, uh, blue knife tyrant. Um, All right. So I get my five, six, seven, eight, because aggressive surge persists on my next, uh, psychic. Swords, one with the tail. Hitting you on twos. Drop one, and then wounding you on threes. Okay, so there's gonna be four that just ignore invulns. EP three, four damage, and one that's. Four that ignore invulns at AP three. Alright, hold on. Yeah. So the first one will kill a drone. Yep. And then, and the then I've got three left. Yeah. And uh, they're EP3. Right, so I think I have six base. Yeah. Let's see if I got Iridium on one. I do, so I'm going to start there. So those are five ups. Uh, so you should take them one at a time then? Just, yeah. yeah. Five up. Nope. 
It's flat three, you said? Yep, flat four. Um, because they don't reduce damage, right? No. Yeah. Flat four, and then these two are just gonna be six ups. Oh, there you go. All right, and then this guy's gonna just do his consolidation move right over here. Okay. Um, uh, I will swing with the enforcer next. Go for it. So it's gonna be four attacks plus d6 plus two, so six plus d6. Jesus. Eight. All right, getting on threes. Uh, and then wounding on fives or sixes because of your minds. Mm -hmm. So nothing. Okay. Um, he's going to swing back. I don't get the extra attack because it was only locked to that one phase. Uh, so six swings. Hitting you on threes. Rerolling the ones for the reds only. Thing. Okay. So those hit. And then wounding you on threes. Okay. So two at EP invuln and one at EP nothing. Boom. Make one fail one and then one at AP nothing. Uh, good. So you what's the three, damage? Three damage because of the reduction. So you got your feel no pains. So three feel no pains. No, don't make a single one. He's dead. All right, that's another three for assassinate. All right. Um, so then he'll do his consolidate this away. As well. Okay. Yeah, that's that's everything. Okay. So I will get grind then for sure. You'll get grind. I will get stranglehold for one turn. Okay. Yep, and you will get stranglehold. Okay. So, um, you've got, how many CP? you got zero CP, I've got two CP, I'm about to go up to three. Um, you want to pass the turn? Oh, yes. No worries. Alright. Yep, I'll go up to three. Um, I'm only going to get eight for this one, because I'm only on two objectives. And I will do some some boofs so just gonna give this um, yellow Kyra Duel the plus one to hit these went away because that one's gone and then I think I'll just I don't think the you don't have any minus ones in melee right or anything crazy yeah so the other one the other buffs just gonna be wasted because I don't have an adequate target so yeah that's the command movement phase this guy's gonna come over here. It'll just be goal is to be over an inch away. Okay, I'm a little too close. And this one will come right here. Don't get too close. Right there. All right, um, this, uh, I'm going to have the blue unit of warriors go ahead and advance. They're going to move an extra two inches, so six, seven, eight. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and spend one CP right here. So go down to two. Or metabolic overdrive on those warriors. Um, so I'm going to roll three dice here. Everyone's immortal. No mortals. And I get to move them another eight inches. Right here. 
That swarm lord's gonna move his nine inches. I'm gonna move less than that so I can still be within the bubble for the warriors. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna move this higher duel. Let me double check. Here. 18 inches from him. Yeah, okay, cool. Be there. This barbed hybrid duel will like, mosey this away, and I want to be right. over an inch away from these guys. Uh, Alberto, only fall fallback and shoot can be given by a crisis commander slash farsight and dark strider for infantry. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, I, just to double check. I don't think there's anything else, unless there's like a relic or something that I haven't looked at. But no, I think that's the only thing I remember from the book. Alrighty, all right, there we go. This barbed tyrant duel will move his eight inches. We'll just get on the objective, and then also just be without this one. Yeah, just want easy charges. Round throw will like. Stick around. And then these warriors will like rearrange themselves like this. I'll advance them. I'll advance those warriors. Okay. That's that. We'll get to psychic phase. I'm going to have the uh, Swarm Lord go ahead and attempt to cast Catalyst. E to six. Does not go off. Not rerolling. He's going to attempt to cast um, Onslaught. I don't think that's applicable. I'm just going to attempt to cast my Need a five. Goes off on a six. D three mortals onto those suits. Three mortals. Someone will just be down to uh, to one. Okay. Then Swarmlord's done. Next, I'm going to go from the pink half tyrant. Mm -hmm. He's going to attempt to cast Aggressive Surge. Need a six. Goes off on an 11. It's going to go on the blue half tyrant. D3 extra attacks for him. An extra two attacks. And then next, I'm going to cast Infused Energies from him. Yeah, I believe it's Infused Energies. Yeah. Um, so Infused Energies. Need a 6 as well. Goes off on a 6. I'm going to put that onto the pink Iridol. So it'll get the reroll hits. Get this one. Okay. Next, it's going to be the... Uh, from him, the blue hive tyrant. He's gonna attempt to cast synaptic barrier. Let me just see if I even have a valid target. No, I, I do not have a valid target. He's not gonna do that. He's gonna attempt to cast smite. The need a six. Goes off. D3 onto those breachers. Two wounds. Okay. That's gonna be all my psychic. I'll get to shooting. I'm gonna double move these hive tyrant, uh, the hive warriors, uh, the tyranid warriors, um, and I do get plus one to their advance with the hive commander ability. So they're going ten inches. I should just get them right here. Okay. Okay, so shooting, I'm going to start with the green Scythe Hyrule. He's going to go ahead and flame the Crisis Suits. Okay. This goes away. Okay, so 3d6. That's going to be five, six. So Wounding you on threes. So that's going to be 5 AP2. 5 AP2. Little the first one on the wounded guy has to go there. Good. Good. 
Mm, four left. Uh, good. Yep, good. Okay, so he's dead. I've got two left. Do those on the Iridium. Or uh, three ups. The one damage. damage. Alright, so he just takes right. one damage. Okay. Next uh, expedition shooting here. This uh, Scythe Hyradul is going to go ahead and flame into these guys. 3d6. Seven. All right, so that's five. And then threes. Okay, um, that's going to be six into six the again. unit. Right. So they're single damage each, right? Single damage each, yeah. Okay, so I'll do two at a time. So on the drone. One dead drone. Kills one drone. Second drone. One's uh, down, down so to one. Good. Good. So okay. kills one drone, puts one down to one. Perfect. Okay, next it's going to be the barbed hyridal. He's going to dump everything into those suits as well. Alright. 12 shots on twos because the plus one. And then on uh, threes. Okay, that's going to be uh, 11, and these are two damage each. Uh, first one on the drone. Good. 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 Jesus. That's really good. Okay. Kills now he's the dead. first one with the wound. So you got uh, how many? One more. You got seven left. Seven. Okay. Kills the second you got drone. Six left now. And these are minus four. AP two. two AP damage. two. Yeah. All right. So I will do the two at a time on the iridium. The deal. So these are should be three. Uh, they're four ups regardless, actually. Yeah, they're four ups regardless. So seven. So I'll just do them all on. Or there's six. Six left. Six or... left. So. Yeah. Just four up saves. All right. Um. So two. It's two dead. Cool. Okay, um, so that's going to be that. We're shooting. I think I've shot everything. Get to my charge phase. Let me see. I'm going to go ahead and charge with the, um, the yellow barbed hyradule into those crisis suits. Go ahead. I'm in on a seven. We'll pile in like this. I want to be out of engagement with that commander. Uh... No, uh, you're good there. All right, and then I will spend the one CP. So got down to one for the mortals. So rolling, what I got, eighteen wounds on him. Mm -hmm. And then every three up is a mortal up to six. All right, that's the six mortals right there. That will kill him because he's wounded for three, and then put this guy at one. Okay. Next charge is going to be the pink scythe hyradul. Charging. I'm in. Put him right here. And then the swarm lord will charge as well. I'm in on a ten. Okay. Um, the blue hive tyrant will charge the breachers. So on the six, I'm in. And then the pink one will charge as well. I'm just barely in on a four. Okay. Okay, so that's gonna be all the charges. Fight phase. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pile in my Bar Pyro Duel. I'll tie in your Gold Star as well. 
and he'll just swing at the suits. Four mm -hmm. swings. Hitting you on twos. Because I get the plus one, re-rolling ones. And then wounding you on twos, strength ten. Three AP three, so invulns, you have shields. Uh, uh D three plus three, so that would just like Yep. Dance. Uh hold on. D three plus three I failed two. So I'll kill one. Allocate one to him, and then save I will protocols. save you. I don't have the CP. Never mind. Oh. That would have been a clutch play. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, this guy's gonna just pile in Doesn't here. Doesn't matter. You're gonna. You got like two of the guys to go. And then Swarm Lord will just activate, pile in right here. I don't think I can get him in. Yeah, I can't. Nope. All right, and then um, swinging with the the two hive tyrants. I'm gonna go ahead and swing with the pink one first. I'll do my Rampaging Beast for the extra attacks. So an extra three attacks. So five, six, seven, eight attacks. Just take them off. Are They're you not sure? living. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, then, um, all right. So then he's going to get this way, but still be on the point. And then this guy will do the same, moving closest to closest, the closer. Okay, uh, or yeah, it'll be this way actually. It'll be more like that. Okay, um, so that's that. You get to swing back at me with your cold star. Uh, yeah. So four attacks. Is your cold star opsec by the way? No. Okay. Cool. I I don't have any more opsec in this list, and I don't have any way to get it. Okay. So four hits. Rolling all wounds for precision. Two. On the no uh, AP. Which one? Uh, the it's the eighteen. He's the only guy in range. Oh, okay, cool. Um, so yeah. Uh, two da two ups. I'm good. All right. Okay, that's that's everything. So I will get um three for stranglehold. Wait, why did it go up like that? That's fucking weird. Uh, three for stranglehold. Okay. And then um, TBD on grind them down. And I'll pass it over to you. I don't think you have any morale on those suits, right? Those three? No. Okay. No, they can't fit. All right, so my command phase, uh, Bolt Star will just give the auto advance to that unit of Crisis. Let's see. So I should get one. Strangle. All right, so um, start of the movement phase. I'm just going to take my Cold Star out use his ability to come back nine inches away so i'm just going to move him it's basically want to be nine inches away from your guy Right. Crisis bodyguard back here. Going to move out. <clears throat> what turn are you guys on? Turn three. Top, uh, turn bottom, three. Of bottom, three. bottom of three. Oh, 
Oh, my marker drones have to go that way. For the, uh, for the marker drones, Zach, they have to have vision at the start of the action, right? You don't move them and then get vision afterwards. Like, you uh, have to have vision, but you can still move and the action doesn't fail. It depends on what your model is. Um, so, like, drones, I'm pretty sure, can complete the marker light action after moving. Oh, so it's okay if you don't see the target in the beginning when you start. The way, yeah, that's the way that I've understood it, is that they can actually move, do the action, and then it won't fail. But if an infantry model has to, like, see it first, let me just double check and for drones you. drones don't count as infantry, correct? They are... Drones. Correct. Drones are their own We're... thing. Okay. Yeah. So, because I, I literally don't run a single marker light in any of my lists. Yeah, it doesn't matter in this case. So, I don't need it now. It's just we were talking about it with Travis. Let me pull up the marker light rule. Alright. So this unit of crisis suits. Come in and just touch. Uh, it doesn't matter. All right, so we'll start with the crisis bodyguard. Um, everybody's in. You, it seems you have to see it at the beginning. That's um, what I told Travis. One or more marker light unit from your army can start this perform this action at the start of your movement phase. Ah, uh, there you go. Hmm. Okay. So um, movement phase. Do you have to see it at the start. Yeah, that's yeah. that's what I was telling okay. him. You yeah. can move without the action failing, because if you move a unit. And then you're doing. I action, think fails. there is. Let me double check because I think like the um you, the other. So the other units say you could start the action at the end of the movement phase because of that. Uh, so yes. You can get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was right. So pathfinders can do theirs at the end. I yeah. think is the whole thing. Um. Yeah. The target upload. This unit can start the uh, to fire marker lights at the end of your movement stays instead of at the at the beginning. Yeah. Oh. So pathfinders can do it, and I think tetras can do it because tetras are technically pathfinders in speeders, so they have the same rule. I'm pretty sure. Gotcha. So everything else has to have vision in the beginning. If you're infantry, it fails if you move, but like. So what people are doing is they run marker drones on characters that are screened in the backfield so they can just kind of like move out the um, the marker drones, shoot the marker drone, and then you're yeah. like still fine. Gotcha. All right. Anyways, so let's... Yeah, I had a feeling that's how it worked. Um, we're going to start with the bodyguard unit. So I'll spend one to fire and fade to get them back on the objective after they shoot. Okay. Uh, and we're just going to go into the 18 wound... What I've seen from a lot of the top table players is they don't run marker light drones or marker lights unless they're on pathfinders, pretty much. Are you they're... Be... Oh, Go ahead, sorry. Are you going to be overcharging? Uh, yes, I am. Okay, cool. So I'll do the cyclics first. So it's nine shots, actually. I've also been playing the cyclic wrong. The way cyclic works now is you... Uh, allocate a wound to the unit, not to the model, which I had been playing wrong. Oh yeah, you take the mortals on the drones. Yeah, because that's not how it was last edition. I didn't even read that part of the cyclic, to uh, be honest. Yeah, so I'll do the cyclic hitting. first. Okay. These are hitting on threes. Rerolling ones. No ones. And then these are wounding on fours. Uh, Rerolling ones for Mark oh, because I've also been forgetting that. And then I get one free... Farsight reroll. Farsight reroll. So two Nothing. cyclics so far. Two cyclics. And then the plasma. Uh, next, yeah, plasma. So six plasma shots. Plasma's got such a huge upgrade. I remember when those used to be strength six. Back in fifth. Yeah, right in seventh or in eighth. There, I think there were strength six rapid that, fire. That three hit, bro. Wait, 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 wait. You hit on threes. Bro. Oh, that was a three. That was a yeah, three. Yeah, I got three. you, bro. I got four eyes, man. So you don't have to see it. Four eyes. Yeah. It's horrible wounding. Uh, uh, that's two. I get to reroll those once. All right. So three of those. All right. So three plasma. Um, and three AP plasma. Like... What? Hey, on your emblem. Okay. Uh, five ups. 
I mean, I think even the cyclic is on your one because it's minus three right now. I take one. Yep. So I took one plasma so far, and then the two cyclics. I take. So I take four damage. So I'm down to. Yep. Fourteen. Okay. And then they'll just move there. Eight. Or six inches. Yeah, jump shoot jump is pretty darn good. Strong. Strong for sure. It is. I miss it. I remember when you used to be able to do it back in back in the day. Just for free. Make jump shoot jump great again. Uh, I'll do my cold star next. Gonna go into the same gun. Uh, so yeah, fusion blaster first. Hitting on twos, re-rolling everything. Hits and wounding on fours, re-rolling. One. So that's one fusion blaster. One five up. Um, okay, I failed the save. All right, so it's gonna be five. Plus, are you within so, nine? You're not within nine, so, so I'm out by point so one. So four damage? Four damage. And then plasma. Down to ten. It's fours. Rerolling all wounds. 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 Okay. Five up. Take it. Two damage more. Down, down to nine. Right. And then lastly uh, yeah. is the high output burst. Ten, nine, eight. And these are on fives. Six. Six, and then these are at minus two. Okay, uh, so four ups here. All right, I take five. So I'm down to three. Down to three, huh? Mm-hmm. Your swarm lord is what, nine wounds? Twelve wounds. So he can't Twelve be, wounds. He's not so... bodyguarded. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right, well... I'm ready to split and fail, so I will shoot one crisis into the barbed, and then two are going to go into the swarm ward. All right, let me know which is which. So we'll do the single crisis unit, or the single guy shooting into the barbed first. Okay. So he's got one fusion. Yeah, I'll just do these one at a time. One plasma and three cyclics, and I am overcharging. Okay. So hitting on threes. Re rolling ones. So all hits, and then uh, wounding on fours on everything. Rerolling ones to wound, and then I'll use my free farsight reroll on the fusion. All right, so everything wounds. Okay. So it's gonna be two. Oh, well, they're all on your full because of AP. All right, so which one's which? I'll just roll all the colors. And... Okay, so it's one fusion blaster, one cyclic, and. Uh, or sorry, one plasma and two cyclics. Okay. So I. So they're all on my invuln. So five ups. Yeah, bl blue is fusion, and then. All right. Uh, so the what's the red again? Plasma. Plasma. All right. So I'm down to one wound. There you go, dude. P P go. Siege. All right. All right, and then the other two into your swarm one. So it's gonna be two fusion blasters, two plasma. And six, cyclic. On threes, we roll the ones. Uh, what's your toughness? Uh, seven, so threes for everything. Threes, we're rolling ones. Yeah. Okay, so That's two plasma, two plasma, one fusion, and one, two, three, four, five cyclic. 
five, six, three. Okay, so these are gonna be on my four up and boom. Okay, I take the fusion. Okay, let me see, I take, let me see, the plasma's two damage. Oh, wait, let me see if I wanna reroll that. Four. One, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So I take six damage. Um, so our D6 plus two right now. Yeah, I think I'm gonna spend my last CP. Try to reroll that fusion. I'm down to zero. Roll it up. I'm good. There it is. All right, All so right. I take six damage. All right, that's my turn. And uh, if you really want to play it out, we can. Otherwise, I will concede there. All right, dude. Um, good game, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for uh, taking the time. What do you think of the? What do you think of Tau in general? I mean, Tau are good. I just have no idea how to play him yet. But I think Farsight is a complicated thing to uh, to play, especially if you don't know all the things, like all the rules. So I think I'm going to start with Tau. It's a little bit easier. Tau Sept. Yeah, bit easier. there's a lot of things Tau Sept you have so much to do play, with Far. Dude. And with Hammer... If you had Hammerheads, my whole list would have just been invalidated. Um, it's not even the Hammerheads much, too. It's just like the... All the rerolls. Oh, yeah, God. there's like broadsides or what a I can't really fit into Farsight. I could probably. But oh, dude, now. I disagree. I'm running. I'm running oh, yeah. broadsides on my Farsight list. You can either run three singles to maximize the reroll, or you can run them as a big squad. Yeah, broadsides are nutty. Dude. Are you just are you just going to for just hitting on fours, or do you have like extra marker lights in there? Or are you actually uh, running them up? To they people? they run up the field. They move on average eleven inches. You know, it's yeah, it's not insignificant. And with three of them moving around the field, um, it's the th for ninety points, right? They're a huge threat that people have to like. There's always a chance I can step out and just pick them. up anything. And with three separate units, there's such a threat overload that I can put them all over the place. I can just walk them up the board for three turns, and they have to deal with them. And I'm also in that list. I also have fourteen crisis suits. And if I run them as three man and three singles, I, I usually just leave them separate with like kind of no support um, besides what your, the real uh, ones. What, do you, what are on your crisis suits? So I almost always take a five man um, burst squad, the air bursting, um, a normal crisis. I don't take bodyguards anymore. I've kind of realized that bodyguards aren't the way to go. They're nice to have, but you can just get better with your positioning the only time to take crisis bodyguards is if you're out of slots because you're taking double patrol or if you want to run a two-man to sit in the backfield with like towel sets because uh, you just like you, yeah, you get a two-man is it's probably the best yeah and then you just run them with air burst and they just sit there and it kind of gives you a little bit of insulation layer um but i usually run two to three three mans with one cyclic double um plasma like one or two shield drones and shield generators. And with Farsight, I cycle drop those guys in for three turns. So like I have a stealth suit team if I need to bring them in on turn one, but I, I you get enough firepower out of one unit rerolling hits, rerolling wounds to pretty much just delete anything you choose to. So the the one problem that I foresee it's the reason people are playing this over the other list style is that this list like directly beats i think like farsight heavy or um tau like broadside suit heavy lists because you just have you can interact and they can't and like i think that's the strength right now mm -hmm. um is this list literally doesn't interact unless i want you to even though i'm yep. super close to you i can just fire and fade anything i want i can trade you 200 point units which i don't really give a shit about um, and the other really sneaky thing is you make one of your crisis commanders more expensive than the 197 point, uh, crisis team. Mm -hmm. Um, I would actually, in reality, I would drop the 